Hey guys, I'm Anand, your tech guide from TechStore, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest Lenovo V14 G3 series of laptops. Now, this is the business class laptops that Lenovo has, which is a sandwich between the IdeaPad and the ThinkPad series. Now, if you're watching this video before making a buying decision, this is the video for you because you'll see the internals of the laptop, the way it looks, and you'll be able to make a very informed decision. Or if you've already purchased this laptop, then this video, you'll be able to upgrade your RAM, SSD, put a hard drive, replace the battery and a lot of other upgrade options that this laptop offers. So let's get started. Now this laptop is a thin and light variant and it is uh, targeted for people who are, uh, who are business users. This is not for people who are into high-end uh, editing or animation or 3D design stuff. This is basically targeted to business user. So this is a 14 inches variant that we have it hands on with us and there are multiple variants that are available you have the core i3 variant core i5 variant as well as core i7 as well as in the v14 you have a ryzen 3 and ryzen 5 variant all of them look and feel the same so this video if you have watched you will know how the look and feel of the v14 series is going to be now the laptop that we are uh, showcasing today is got a core i5 1235u it has got 10 cores uh, 12 mb cache it has got 12 threads and a 4.4 gigahertz uh, turbo boost and uh, it has got DDR4 8GB onboard RAM and uh, we will check, dig, dig deep whether we can upgrade it to a higher variant. And it has got a Gen 4 NVMe SSD that is the best part about this particular laptop. And uh, it has got a 14 inches uh, full HD screen and uh, the battery backup is somewhere around 5 to 6 hours and the weight is around 1.57 kgs. Let me show you the outer part of this particular laptop, the exterior of this particular laptop. The laptop comes with a standard barrel jack DC adapter. It's got a 65 watt adapter for a Core i5 variant and it comes along with this kind of an adapter. The price of this particular laptop is somewhere around 30 to 45,000 rupees depending on the variants that you're taking. If it's a Core i3, it'll be around 30 to 35,000 rupees whether it is with DOS or Windows and Core i5 whether there is a DOS or a Windows uh, variant on this particular laptop. You can purchase this particular laptop on our website. On the left side, uh, you have a DC barrel jack, charging pin indicator, you have a USB 3.0, you have HDMI 2.0, you have a C-type uh, USB, you have a headphone mic combi. In the front, uh, you have absolutely no IOs whatsoever. On the right, uh, you have a one key recovery key point and you have a standby notification uh, indicator. You have Ethernet port, so that is something that the business users generally have a requirement for and another USB 2.0 port and the Kensington lock. Again the same profile is there. On the rear, uh, there is absolutely no IOs or uh, there are absolutely no dissipation vents. So the base uh, of this particular laptop, uh, the perforations are over here, uh, pretty neatly designed base. Uh, you have uh, four rubber grips over here uh, to basically give you more uh, elevation as well as to control the heat that this laptop generates. The speakers are bottom firing, uh, bottom firing left and right speakers are over here. So the top over here is uh, totally grey in colour, it has got this smooth uh, metallic finish, it is not metal, it's purely polycarbonate, there is absolutely no metal in this particular variant. The Lenovo uh, logo is uh, stickered over here inside on the top panel. Now let's see if there is a uh, top flex on this particular uh, laptop, on the sides the, it is very very tight. At the center also, it's pretty tight for a basic entry level uh, value laptop. It's not premium, but still the flex is not there. Very nice. Once you open, uh, let's have a look at the keyboard uh, flex. If there is flex on the keyboard, not much, uh, almost negligible flex is there. So that is another good thing. Let's see if this laptop opens with one hand operation. No, it does not open. As you can see, it stutters. So, hinge stability is a bit of an issue over here. You need to get the hinges loosened so that it opens with one hand operation. So, as soon as you open the laptop, the screen is there and it's, it's got a really nice screen. The specification of the screen are it has got a full HD uh, 1920 and 1080 screen. It has got around 250 nits uh, brightness. It is 72% NTSC, it is not full sRGB, it is not IPS, it has got VA panel. So from the side angles, the viewing angle is not all that great. It has got an anti-glare screen, that is something uh, that is uh, a requirement for a business class laptop. And you have a webcam shutter also. It has got three-sided nano bezel and uh, the webcam is uh, for the privacy, you have a webcam shutter. The exhaust is uh, literally over here just below the screen as you can see. So this blocks a lot of hot air. 
the inners again have the same color as this particular outer color and uh, you have the non backlit keyboard it's got a 14 size non numlock keypad keyboard a basic keyboard over here the key travel is not all that great uh, and even the key quality is not premium uh, we had expected the key quality to be a little bit better but this is what you have there are multiple uh, function keys that are there the power button is on the right side is not inside the keyboard so that is a good thing to have the touchpad is a small uh, touchpad actually it's not a large touchpad but it's a good uh, multi gesture touchpad that you have now let's check uh, the camera quality of this particular laptop so this is the and this is the video shot from the webcam of the lenovo v14 uh, g3 series of laptops uh, as you see it is a 720p video the audio quality is good because of the dual array microphone but they could have done a better job on the camera as Lenovo has always lagged behind in the webcam for every laptop. Alright, so let's check the speaker quality, the audio quality that this laptop has. Very, very poor speakers. Very tinny uh, output, very low uh, output. It does. It's not loud. It's not having any bass whatsoever. So if you are a music fanatic and you want to, you know, listen to a lot of music and movies, then this is not the laptop that you should buy. The inbuilt speaker is bad. So don't buy it for that. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop, and you will see these screws: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and you need to remove these screws these are not the normal star screws uh, it's got this t shape that uh, screwdriver you have to take start removing from the hinges now take a triangular prior like this and start protruding from the sides and the base will come off. So this is the way the internals of the Lenovo V14 G3 look like. This is the battery here, this is the RAM area, this is the Wi-Fi, this is the processor fan, this is the SSD, this entire thing. So let's start with the battery first. We need to remove the battery. We need to just pull out this particular uh, strip connector. Any operation that you have to do on this particular laptop, you need to remove the battery. Now you need to remove these screws over here. This is the hard disk bay area. If you have a connector, then you can actually install a 2.5 inch uh, SATA hard drive or a SSD. This is the area for that. But it does not come along with a connector. Now the battery will come off like this. So this is the battery that you need to buy. So the battery part code is 2 icp 654 90 it's got a rated capacity of 4786 mAh so this is the battery that you need to buy in a sense you want to replace the battery now coming to the part where the ram is uh, ram is covered by this uh, heat sink you just need to remove this particular covering the cap of uh, the ram and uh, you will see so this particular laptop has got 8 GB RAM soldered onto it and uh, you can upgrade another 16 GB RAM onto this particular laptop. You can take a 8 GB, 16 GB in a scenario your laptop has got a 8 GB onboard memory DDR4-3200 megahertz. You can take a 8 GB additional or a 16 GB additional and you can install it onto your laptop. Let's take a RAM like this and uh, insert it like this and then press it. Once you have pressed it, just put it back, the cap, and you're good to go. So this is the M.2 NVMe SSD area. It has got a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. That is the best part about this laptop. Despite being in the entry level series, it has got a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. This is the connector actually. As you can see, this is a 2230 form factor SSD M.2 NVMe Gen 4 
by default it comes with a WD SN740. It gives you a read write rate of approximately 5000 Mbps uh, comfortably. So you can take a higher end uh, variant and uh, upscale the speed to up to 8000 Mbps also using a Gen 4 NVMe SSD. So you can also take a 2280 form factor NVMe SSD like this. This is a 2280 long format M.2 NVMe SSD and uh, you can just insert it like this and uh, you can actually put a screw over here and it will work absolutely fine. So as of now, we will put the SSD back like this. So this is the CMOS cell over here. So in a scenario, your date and time is not showing up, then this is the cell that you have to change. Just remove it and replace it with another one. This is the Wi-Fi chip over here. Just need to remove this one screw over here and the Wi-Fi chip will uh, come out. As you can see, you need to remove these two antennas and uh, this is the Wi-Fi chip that you need to buy if you want to replace the Wi-Fi chip. Let us put it back. So people want to replace the fan over here. There are three screws, one, two and three. And there are these wires over here which you need to remove along with this particular uh, daughter board to motherboard wire. And you can uh, replace the fan of this particular thing just by removing these one, two, three screws and removing this particular uh, fan uh, power connector. So this is the VGA cable over here which is connecting to the screen. And the DC jack is over here. It is on the motherboard itself so you cannot replace the DC jack. So these are the speakers, one and two speakers over here and uh, the speakers can be very easily removed. Uh, they're uh, not fixed by any screws or anything. Just need to remove this, this entire wire over here. Then this screw, this uh, part also comes out and you can remove this particular entire wire line. This is the keyboard connector. It uh, unfortunately does not have a backlit uh, connector. Actually, the backlit uh, connector is not there on this particular laptop. So you cannot replace it with the backlit one. This is the heat sink. So let's uh, put the things back. Now let's put the base cover back. And you can and uh, you can power it on comfortably. Wait for some time, uh, once you have done the upgrades, uh, the display will certainly come. As you can see, the display is now up and uh, we are through with this particular upgrade process. So this, my friends, was a video showing you the review and the disassembly process of the Lenovo V14 G3 series of laptops. In this video, we have shown you how to upgrade the RAM, put a new SSD, uh, replace the battery, speaker. Wi-Fi chip and literally everything that you can do with this particular laptop if you already purchased it. Now, if you have still to purchase, this is a good buy for the given price point. It comes at around 30,000 to 45,000 rupees depending on the processor, the configuration that you are buying. So it's a very good business class laptop except for the speakers and web camera. Everything is a thumbs up from our side. You can make your buying decision. It's got a fantastic screen. It is not an IPS, but it's got a good brightness. It is not having sRGB 100%, 72% at NTSC, but this is what a business class user requires. It's basically for documentation that you can use this particular laptop. The keyboard quality could have been better. It is not having any backlit keyboard in this. So that is something that a business class user requires, a backlit keyboard, which is not there. The Core i3 is a U uh, series processor. It does not have a H or a P series processor variant in V14. It does not come with a graphic card variant. So you don't have a NVIDIA or a AMD Radeon graphics variant on this particular thing. The build quality is very sturdy. Uh, the laptop looks and feels very premium. It does not give you a feeling that it has got uh, 30, 40,000 rupees uh, price band onto this particular laptop. So a very good uh, job on the price point as well as the price per uh, performance ratio or price per number of specs that you want to look at. It's a very good buy. Thank you so much for watching the video. Do let us know if you suggestions in the comments and uh, do not forget to subscribe to us. Thank you so much.